It is. And we are so excited we can hardly stand it. And Jim is so excited, Doug, that he can hardly stand it. That's all he can talk about. Well, I don't blame him. Have you been to the top of the water no, park No, I haven't. He's trying to beg me to walk up to the top with him. It is unbelievable. They On a clear it. day, you can see forever. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I believe, and I have a little bit of, what, hydrophobia or something? That's right. <laughs> Whatever it is, you know, getting a little bit scared to well, walk Well, the nice thing about that is if you're in a hurry to get down, you can come down rapidly. Just I mean, just, just straight boom. down. <laughs> or if you want to take your time about it, you can come down uh, the uh, tube ride. Yes. Or if you want to get all mixed up, you can come down the regular ride. Uh, they go round and round. Right. I climbed up them. I have not yeah. been down you, oh, them yet. Oh, you've not been down yet. And, and then there's a restaurant underneath right. where you can where you can sit and eat and watch that's the people right. dive in that's right. and watch the waterfalls. Can I tell you, ta Tammy, how Doug and I are going to come down? Yes. We're going to walk down. <laughs> I was I was going to I was going to say for the rest of us who get up there and it's too high, you can still turn around and come back down. Oh, well, we'd like to welcome our studio audience today. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good to see you. We have some wonderful tours here today. From Augusta, Georgia, we have 50. Where is Augusta, Georgia, and the 50 that came from Augusta? Stand up for us. There, stand up, folks. Great. Wave to your mamas and daddies at home. <laughs> and from uh, Victorville, California, 25. Where is Victorville? California. California. Well, they're all together there, and there's one that got away. Way over here on the left, somebody got away. <laughs> okay, I understand they've got uh, everything, communication cleared up between Jim and I at the water park. Hi, Jim. Hello, Tammy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Where are you? I'm oh, you're at, on the beach. I'm on the beach at Waikiki. What Mikey do you have Key. on? I'm, uh, I'm at Heritage Island. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I won't, I won't have to yell then, right? No, you don't have to yell. Because uh, I'm out here and there's a lot of, a, a lot of work going on. But this is uh, Lake Heritage beside me, and I know you that have been watching PTL for many, many years uh, have watched this lake when we were building the lake. You saw it being developed and uh, the difficult time we had in getting the permits to actually open the lake. It was a very difficult time because it was during a period of time when several dams had broken in America, and so we have a very, very safe dam here. It took us a couple years to really get this lake completed. And then all the way around Lake Heritage, you can see, if you look way over in the corner, you can see the youth chapel over on the other side of the lake there. And I don't have a monitor out here, so I don't know what you're seeing, but there's the train, one of the trains sitting on the other side. And then there's Heritage Park. There's one of the lifeguards going by in the boat out there. And then all the way over, there's some folks waving at us from their timeshare unit. I think they want to be on television. I don't know if you can see them over there or not. But those are beautiful lodges over on the lakeside. And then Recreation Village is all over on that side of the lake. And then there's Buffalo Park over here. And uh, there's a beautiful swimming pool right on the lake in Buffalo Park over on uh, below the water tower on that side of the lake. And then a uh, beautiful playground for the kids. Oh, it's just a fantastic place. And an amphitheater where we have entertainment daily during the summer and the warm months here at Heritage USA, another train depot. And uh, then, if you'll look down the lake here, uh, you'll see more lodges. The Heritage Inn is, is on that side of the lake. And then the wagon, former Wagon Wheel Restaurant, that's going to be torn down. And the beautiful ministry center, the, uh, built like the Crystal Palace, uh, a million square feet will be built over at that end of the lake. And then, uh, if, if you'll just go right over in here and just keep going around the lake, this next section is kind of open between the, where you'll see the Crystal Palace and the train depot. There's going to be a beautiful big boat built right over in there. And that's going to be our dinner theater boat. It'll seat about a thousand people for dinner theater on uh, the boat at Lake Heritage. Here. It's going to be a beautiful spot for Christian dinner theater. Well, I want you to see what we really came here today to see. I want you to see Heritage Island. We have a few days left. This is probably one of the most exciting days uh, in my life. We've been trying to build this park for three years. This park has been going up. We're into our third year of construction on this island. Jim? Well, yes. We're hearing some weird noises over here. Is that the gunite machine or what is that? They're, they're gunniting, they're cleaning, uh, they're steam cleaning. They're getting ready to put the final coat on the pool. Ah. They start today. In fact, uh, we need your prayers. Both of our gunniting machines broke down. Oh.
And we have, <laughs> I'll get really emotional over that because we've got one piece left on the mountain and it'll be done today if we can get the gunite machines working again. But both gunite machines broke at the same time, which is strange. But we've been fighting this park now for almost three years to get it finished. God knows it's going to be great, but the devil knows it's going to be great, and he's tried to stop it, but he's lost the battle. Amen. We've just about won Amen. this battle. Amen. And uh, it is, I, I don't know what kind of pictures we're making over. Can you see this white sandy beach yes. here? Yes, it's beautiful, this has Jim. This has a couple feet of white sand, and then it has a special matting material down underneath of it so that uh, the black dirt that's actually down under there cannot come up into the white sand. It's a special new beach material, and this is just like the ocean. We've, we've actually almost brought the ocean, the white sandy beaches of the ocean, and later on I'll show you the wave pool that will make waves up to five feet. We don't dare run it at full force because we'll, we'll overwash the banks of, uh, over to the Grand Hotel if we do that. But, we don't uh, want to do that. <laughs> no, but I, I want to show you a piece of the beach. We've got some of our, our staff over here, some of the lifeguards, uh, and uh, we have uh, some of the folks that are practicing using the beach today. <laughs> practicing using the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see if the beach works. We want to volunteer to practice to use the beach. <laughs> well, you know, it was amazing. We, we had no lack of volunteers to, to try out the beach. And we said, anybody help us see if the beach works today? Well, it... <laughs> Everybody raise their hands, huh? Oh, it looks nice out. It's a nice day in the Carolinas today. It is gorgeous out here. It's about 75 degrees. The sun is shining. The sky oh, is my. blue. I mean, they are really using the beach. They are using the beach. These are, most of these are Bible school students. Whoa. And they're supposed to be working. And uh, a bunch of them were over, uh, they're in training for lifeguard training right now. And they've been over at the other pool at uh, Recreation Village. We so want to train for lifeguard training too. Well, this is lifeguard training. Yeah, you just, no. How you doing, Frank? Good, how are you? Usually I'm pitching it to you over here and... Uh, what do you think of this place? I think it's beautiful. Can I stand up? Yeah, yeah, stand up. Well, uh, you're always giving me on-the-scene reports, so I get to be with you today. This is where I like to be every day I think out on this beach. What do you think this is going to mean to the kids, the Christian kids in America? They're going to love it. Hey! There goes the ball. They're already loving it. They're going to love it because it's a chance to, to come here and be ministered to. There's going to be concerts and things going on here, and besides that, it's, you know, any normal kid just loves to swim. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and it's a big beach. Uh, you, we could have walked way down the edge here. We got more beach will be going in over here. We, we're in the final moments of construction. We hope to begin putting the water in the pool in roughly two weeks. And uh, it has been a long pull. You, you've been reporting on this thing almost since the beginning, haven't you? Yeah, I have. And it's coming a long way. It's, it's almost completed. Remember the, uh, when we just started building that mound of sand up there to build that mountain? You'd never think it's going to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's go back over here, Frank. And uh, there is, I see Ro Messner. Ro Messner's uh, on the beach. <laughs> Where's see. his bathing suit? Mark Muirhead's being a lifeguard. <laughs> Have a good time out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me borrow your microphone. How you doing? I'm fine. I, I've been praying for this position all my life. <laughs> you know, I, I've asked the Lord one time in a prayer. I said, Lord, Lord, I'd like to work for a church that has a swimming pool. And I would say, Jim, God has answered my <laughs> prayer. Praise the Lord. We've got a swimming pool. <laughs> Mark is, a youth, is our youth pastor and the director of the youth ministries here. What do you think this park's going to mean to the family and to oh. the kids? You know, the neat thing, it's going to mean togetherness. Yeah. There's variety here. There's a lot of different things we can all do, but it all flows together so beautifully. Uh, you can go down the inner tube. You can go down the big typhoon slide. Uh, the little children can go in the waiting pool. And one thing I'm excited about, we saw the plans yesterday from Steve Franklin for the new stage that we're going to be building yes. over here for yes. great concerts and drama yes. and music all summer long. Yes. Uh, we just got word that Fabulous Crush from Hawaii is going to come and do uh, luau's here on the beach no this kidding. summer. No kidding. And uh, we have gotten, we're going to be having great youth concerts about every night. We have the kids from Music Machine that are going to do uh, children's stuff during the daytime on the beach. And uh, the great thing is 
all of your lifeguards here are born-again Christians, spirit-filled Christians, and they're mostly Bible school students that are called of God. We have students from all over the United States, and what's so neat, the, the Bible school students, they can, people can come here from the area, or if you're 500 miles away, or get on a down here this summer and book in. You can have a positive atmosphere here, and, and what's so thrilling, they can know Christians can have a good time too. We well, you know, Mark, even if the if the Grand is full or if the campground gets full, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of camping around here. You, yeah. There's other campgrounds just down the road from us. A lot of there's hotels. hotels being built, and they're up already all around us, and a lot of them give PTL partner discounts. So when you call any hotel in the area, just say, but call our hotel because we've got rooms available right now. In fact, when you call for Eastern Airlines, <laughs> I don't know how this works. This is crazy. But Eastern Airlines has, a, is a, has the ability to book the rooms here at Heritage USA as well on that 800 number. And they can give, they'll give a discount to people booking their room through when they fly here too. So Eastern has a whole package plan to come to Heritage USA. And uh, if you want to come on a tour, I just got informed that there is a uh, number you can call if you want to join a tour group and that means that you could join up with maybe some of you ladies could join up with four ladies in a room and end up paying maybe fifteen dollars a night or you get special packages and if you want to be on one of the tours coming from your area we have a special number tour match program so if there's a tour coming from your area or if you want a tour from your area or conduct a tour they'll match you up by computer uh, of something and if there's not a tour going on we'll make one from your area mm. so that number is 704-544-8100 and we want you to come we've we've got room for you and there's uh, room in the heritage grand many nights in fact just about every night there's room because we have cancellations at the last minute so some of you said well i couldn't get in but yet in the next month we've got rooms we've had rooms for the last six months almost every night even up to 100 extra rooms uh, because people don't cancel their reservations and then they come at another time and they, some people I think are making two and three reservations mm -hmm. is what's happening and then they pick the one that's the best. So many days, the, the day of, you can also get in too. So we just wanted to make sure you knew that. And if you want a brochure about a lifetime membership, we have a brand new brochure out, but this is the final countdown to lifetime memberships. Now, as always happens on a telethon, they all haven't come in. But we're opening them up today to anyone else who wants a lifetime in the tower. If you call or write today, you can have the final quota now. We're in the final push. This will be the final program. And also, we're beginning the final time that we'll ever offer Silver Club memberships. So remember that if you've been wanting one, because you get to use this beautiful park and all the other facilities, none food events, all free of charge the rest of your life for you and your children even when your kids get to be 59 years of age uh, or older, they still get to come free with you to Heritage USA. If you're a Silver Club member or if you're a lifetime member, then you begin be, get to use that, uh, that beautiful tower room. Yeah. And uh, that tower is going up. Ro, we're about up to the... We're working on 13th floor. Jim. 13th floor now. So it's moving on up every day. You can see him over there working. Okay. Boy, it's a beautiful day. There we are. Look at them up there. There they're going. We're starting to put the, fount the uh, pillars up for the 13th floor of the Heritage Grand. And then we have eight more floors to go, and we'll top her out. Oh, I can't wait to top that thing out. And so if you want a lifetime membership, you need to write it today. And we've got a few more left. And uh, when we get these done, there will not be any more. The Grand Lifetimes are all gone. Now all we have is Tower Lifetime membership. So Come on, be a part of this, and let's see this miracle. Here's what's happening. I, in my devotions today, I read a scripture in the Living Bible, and uh, Jesus was there facing an impossible situation. And uh, the disciples saw all these people, and they were concerned about it, and said, what are we going to do? There's not enough food to feed them all. What should we do? And here Philip replies, it would take a fortune to begin to do it, he said. Doesn't that sound like a lot of Christians, Rome? <laughs> they said it would take a fortune to begin to do it. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Hey, there's a youngster here with five barley loaves and a couple of fish. But what good is that with all this mob? <laughs> Jesus said to tell everyone to sit down. And then they fed 5,000 men and all the women and the children because somebody started where they were. 
and they began to give. And when we began this project out here, well, there wasn't too many people wanting to stand with us. They said, boy, I don't know. Building a place like that, if it'll work, it's too expensive. And uh, just as, as, as this word here is, as Philip replied, it would take a fortune to do it. And yet, we together, all working together, have been able to see this miracle take place. You know, I had a dream. When I was a young man, there was very little for Christian kids to do. In fact, all I knew about religion role when I was a kid was you can't. You can't go to shows. You're not supposed to go to the beach. You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to play pool. You're not supposed to go to a bowling alley. Some didn't even believe in going to baseball games or football games. I, I mean, what could you do? And I said, someday, I would like to do something. I never dreamed it would be this big. <laughs> but I'd like to do something for the Christian family. Amen. For the Christian kids. That's right. And I, I can see this beat. Look at over here. I mean, these kids have gone wild. They all, I mean, they're, they're already enjoying it. And this is a Christ-centered atmosphere. All the lifeguards, spirit-filled, born-again Christians, all Bible school students to witness here to, to the kids. There's going to be witnessing groups, Bible study groups, and uh, all these gazebos here will be filled with singing and, and ministry and gospel music going on all day long. We're not going to have the devil's music here. This is going to be God's music here at Heritage Island. This is a, a fantastic place. And here's a couple of the students that are going to be with us all this, uh, all this summer. And we have about 100 in already. And Sharon Olander. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sharon, where are you from? I'm from Eaton Town, New Jersey. And what Bible school are you from? Southeastern. Southeastern. That's one of our schools. PTL is associated with Amen. Southeastern Bible College in an internship program along with North Central Bible College. In fact, Brett Kane is here. From where? North Central Bible College. North Central Bible College, my <laughs> alma mater, my place. And uh, we're glad to have them here. Both of these colleges, and we have kids from Oral Roberts University, we have Evangel College, we have uh, uh, Jerry Falwell School, Liberty Baptist Valley School, Forge. Valley Forge, all different schools. Mm -hmm. And it's a place where I think they're going to learn something probably here. But more than that, they're going to be teaching and ministering to Amen. a lot of people. Sharon, what do you think of this place? Well, I'll tell you, it is such a blessing to be here. Um, the Lord called me into evangelism field, and it's so neat because it's all, I don't have to go anywhere. I can just stay here, and the people are going to come to me, yes. and it's all one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. And we are just so excited, Jim, about what the Lord is going to do this summer. We've been praying. Uh, mm. The intern team have been praying. Yesterday we had a meeting and scheduled what we're going to be doing with the Family Center, and we're so excited about the water park and the ministry that is going to happen there. We're, we're just excited. We're excited for what the Lord's going to do this summer, summer 86. Amen. 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 Brett, what do you think? I am excited also. I'll tell you just something that's going to happen here soon. We had a meeting, and we're going to be having a drama be put on. It's going to be in August, isn't it, Mark? Near the end of August. It's going to be right over here. They haven't begun to build the stage yet, but it's getting prepared. That's going to be exciting. The kids are going to be able to have fun, that's right. lay around in the sand, play, you know, games, and yet they're going to be dramas. They're going to be people ministering to them at the same time. You don't get that everywhere. In fact, there's nowhere on earth where there's a park for God's people of this type. And uh, this is the finest water park I've been told ever built. It is actually going to set a new dimension of water parks. It's going to be... Uh, the, what do they call it, the, not, I don't know if you call it the prototype, but it's going to be the, yeah, Premier Park, and uh, they say that this is the new generation that we have developed here, and I'm going to take you in a few minutes if we have time, and get, actually walk, because it'll be one of the last times you'll be able to walk into the swimming pool, and uh, you'll be able to, I'll take you, uh, I'll get Tammy to sing a song for us, but uh, back here, I just want to show you this area before we go over to the pool areas. Uh, there's the big rotunda. There'll be chairs up there in the shade for moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas that just want to sit and watch the kids. We will have television monitors where you can see your children at play and people playing. Uh, we have 14 cameras here for safety. We'll have uh, in the main pool, there'll be four cameras underwater to be watching in the wave pools, in the deep diving pools for safety's sake. We're, we're the first pools 
in the world that I know of to incorporate underwater cameras for water safety, because we want to make this the safest water park in the world as well as the happiest water park in the world. And uh, Grandma and Grandpa can sit up there and watch everybody having a ball and uh, be in the shade. We have a restaurant down under here, and then you can sit right here where you can see all the, the, the tables back behind me. That is a beautiful patio area along the lakeside there where you can eat and enjoy uh, good food here. And all this wonderful white sandy beach is, is just a, a marvelous, marvelous place. So right now, I'm going to make my way over to the Lazy River and the, the water pool areas to show them to you. Uh, and Tammy, uh, you got a song to sing for us, something to go along with what we're doing? Well, Jim, I sure do. And the song is called He's Done It Before and He Can Do It Again. And, you know, we look at all the buildings around PTL that we have been, that are finished and that are now paid for through the, you know, through the funds and gifts that the people have given us, through the caring of the PTL partners. And we look around and it gives us faith to know that all the rest of it's been finished and he's done it before and we can look at the water park and we can know that there's nothing too hard for the God that we serve. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
that he holds the key to unlock the door and let you walk in. How exciting to know that the keys are held by God. And all we have to do is ask him, and he'll take those keys and unlock the door for you and me, whether it be for healing, whether it be for salvation, whether it be for finances, whether it be for our marriage, whether it be for our children. God has the keys, and he wants to hand them to you to unlock the door to success and to victory in your life. Praise be his wonderful name. As you know, our PTL auction is coming up, and I'm going to walk over here, so maybe you just don't want to follow me along. Something so precious has happened, and our PTL auction is getting to be something here that is just really helping the ministry out an awful lot. We have a man who has driven all night long to do something for the auction. The auction, the charity auction is being held May 24th, and uh, that's coming up real soon, and this man knew this. And his, his name is John Webb, and he's from Lexington, Kentucky. And John, I don't believe this. You drove this van all night long so you could get here to give it to the PTL auction. And you had some help. What's your name? Tom Mastin. And this is Tom. But, and so why, why did you do it, John? Well, you can't outgive the Lord, so we tried. You must have, you must have found that out before. Uh, yeah. I found that out a long time ago. Uh, tell us a little bit about this van. It is absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's brand new. Brand but, new. Yeah. Never been used. Oh, my. And it's got all kinds of wonderful things inside of it. Central air, microwave, generator. Oh. It's got it all. Oh, <laughs> God bless you. I'll tell you. I, God's people are just something else. And you don't know how much we appreciate your doing this for the ministry. You're perfectly welcome. Well, God bless you, brother, and I know he will. I believe God's going to give back to this man, pressed down, shaken together, you and running over. You know, Tammy... The Ford Holt Charity Auction, coming up on May 24th. This van will be one of the things that will be auctioned off in the Ford... And there it is. We've got a camera to it, and there is that beautiful van that John drove all night long, and that's going to be auctioned at Jim... Uh, uh, that John drove all night long. It's going to be auctioned off at the, at the charity auction. Isn't that beautiful? Tammy? Brand new van. Yes, honey. Tammy, that auction's this Saturday. It is. And if other people will catch this spirit. Oh, my. And, and we still could use more items. We've got thousands of items to auction off. But if people will do things like this, God's going to do it again. Oh, he And is. we will have the money Saturday to finish Fort Hope. Amen. God's going to do another miracle here. You know, this what? miracle of this grand sits behind me. And, and people just said, boy, you can't do it. People said, you'll never do it. And uh, the banks wouldn't loan us money. But God's people, in a little over a year, raised $42 yes, million yes. Dollars and built this partner center where millions of people, five Amen. million people, came here last year to enjoy these facilities. And so we're looking forward on July 4th to dedicating Fort Hope, and the auction's going to make it possible to happen. Also, we plan to dedicate Kevin's house Kevin's uh, adopted mommy is going to be here in just a few minutes with us and help us in the final details with Roe Messner as we're going to try our best to build that house and have it open on July 4th. That's going to take a miracle. But if God's people Amen. in the state and the government will work with us, we can do it to get our permit. Well, I'm here. I'm on a bridge overlooking the Lazy River. And we plan to dedicate on July 4th this beautiful water family park, the first Christian water park ever built in the world a place for God's people to fellowship. And one of the nice places to fellowship will be this lazy river. This is not scary. This is just fun. This is for all the senior citizens my age and over, that we just want to sit in something that's not scary or the little kids. And uh, there's a weir right there. There's a bunch of weirs in them, and that makes the water move. And that's what that little bump in the, in the pool does. They're like uh, dikes or or dams, and they just, they move the water by the flow over that. And uh, you drift down, you get in an inner tube, and you just drift down this lazy river. The water we put in, we'll be coating these pools in just a few hours now. And you drift down there in your inner tube. It's like a fellowship river. It can just be filled with a thousand partners just drifting down the river, talking to each other, having the best time in fellowshipping. And that river just winds all around here, and, and, and winds on down. Well, there's somebody walking in the river right now. Well, you won't be able to do that in a few days because there's going to be water in this river. And this is called the Lazy River. 
and the, we're one of the few parks in the world to have a lazy river. But we wanted a family park. We've got scary things. We've got scary things. If you look up uh, over to uh, my left, you'll see what is called the typhoon. They say it's the closest thing to free fall and still be on the earth. I will not be the first one down. I may never go, I may never go down it. The kids all will go down it, but not me. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll check it out. But if you want a thrill, they're cleaning the, the final cleanup on those slides right now. You can probably see those men uh, in the middle of the slide. They're not in there for recreation. They're in there for work right now as we're doing the final coatings on those pools, the final cleanups going on right now. <clears throat> I'm going to go back into the uh, main wave pool. This is, as far as we know, the largest gunite pool in the world. This is the largest gunite pool in the world. And uh, it will have a white sandy beach. There's a, uh, a dip right here in the pool. If you can see this dip, and I don't know where all my cameras are, but uh, the sand will actually, once we coat it, the sand will go down in here. And so the waves will actually roll right up on a sandy beach. Now, I know you'd probably like to know what makes this thing work. Well, it is very, very complicated. If we can walk around this way, uh, we are now in the pool. In a couple weeks, you won't be able to walk in this pool. You will, <laughs> you will, <laughs> you will swim in this pool. We're down, we are underwater right now. Well, not quite totally underwater, but we're, we're getting down there. <laughs> How y'all doing? <clears throat> Bill, come on over here a minute. I don't know where our sunshine is, where we're supposed to stand over here. <clears throat> Maybe we could come over this way. Do I need a microphone for Bill? All right. <clears throat> Bill is our general manager of the, the water park. And uh, this is quite a park, Bill. Uh, we're going to get you a mic. You can talk. I've got one right here. Okay. If you talk. How you doing? Doing great. Doing great. Great to see you. And uh, Bill, where have you spent most of your uh, life and where did you get experience in the park business? Here we got a mic. I grew up in Central Florida in Orlando and uh -huh. was uh, there 27 years. I was with the Walt Disney World organization there for 10 years. Worked in a variety of the operating areas, attractions, uh, transportation, uh, ticket <laughs> sales, guest relations and training and development. This is and quite, a, quite a pool, isn't it? This is an exciting water park. It's the most beautiful water park I've seen. I've seen many across the country. And this is one of the most exciting water parks. It is the most exciting water park I've seen. There's actually, as far as we know, uh, no water park in the world that has any more rock work and stone than this pool anywhere in the world. That's correct. And not only is there a lot of it, there's a good quality rock work. The rock work, is, I'm sure you've seen, is just beautiful. It's natural looking. It looks like it's been here forever. I want to talk to, we have one of the men that's been doing the gunite work. I, uh, you have his name for me. I, it slipped my mind. I should know him. I, I, I'm with him every day. Come on over here. I want to. I want to walk back this way, where we can see some of the rock up behind it. Come on. <laughs> how you doing? Good. How you doing? Okay. All right. Uh, you've been on the job almost from the beginning, haven't you? Since uh, November of '84. Well, we've been building this park. Uh, I don't know if the pyramids took as long, but we're, we've been going a long time. Uh, you worked in Gunite for how long? Uh, about 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. I don't know of any park in the world that has any more stonework than this one. Do you? This is it. This is it. This is it. What do you think of this park? Well, I think it's uh, really a great place. There's been a heck of a lot of work uh, performed here, and I think it's probably the finest in America, at least. Jeff, uh, uh, you're a Christian, aren't you? Yes, sir. You've been, how long have you known the Lord? Uh, just about five years now. Five years? Yes, sir. A lot of men have been one to the Lord on this job. In fact, you've won a lot of them to the Lord while working here, haven't you? Yes, sir. Uh, we really had a good time here. I I really found probably 30 to 40 guys uh, led to the Lord. and We had a prayer meeting here every morning. There was uh, a lot of really fine healings. One, one man got uh, healed of cancer. Right. Uh, a lot of guys got bapti baptized in the Holy Spirit. A lot of great things happened. And you... Uh, you really got a blessing here, too. 
a double blessing, right? Yes, sir. Uh, on January 2nd, which is your birthday yeah. of uh, 85, uh, my wife and I were attending uh, Heritage Village Church, and uh, uh, Mike Murdoch was taking your place that day, and, and the service was actually over. He had dismissed everybody, and he said, wait a minute. Uh, uh, the Lord's telling me there's 20 couples out there. If you'll be obedient right now and give $1,000, the Lord is going to bless you beyond anything you can understand. And uh, the Lord spoke to me right then and said, you're one, and spoke to my wife at the same time. We never agree when it comes to money. And <laughs> all of a sudden, we both knew it was us. And so we, we wrote a check for $1,000. And uh, a little time went by, and we were uh, uh, just kind of waiting. You know, We thought, well, something great's going to happen. And uh, my wife was feeling a little ill and went to the doctor. Uh, and a matter of fact, it was a pagan doctor, and he had said, uh, that you have a, a, a cyst on your ovary and uh, you need to go into surgery right away. The Lord spoke to my wife right then and said, no, you're pregnant. And so we ended up with uh, two boys. <laughs> but the great thing about it is, is my wife, about Twin the fifth. baby boy, isn't that uh, marvelous? My wife uh, went to prayer and said, uh, the Lord said that uh, on January 2nd, you were obedient and gave when I asked you to. And on January 16th, you conceived two prophets for me. And uh, that was a blessing, so. <laughs> That's yeah. tremendous. Yeah. Well, we, to, actually today, the big major piece of gunite could be completed, but we lost both gunite machines last night at the same time. That's wild. At 12.30 last night. And, you uh, working at 12.30? Yeah, last night. We, we, some guys were here till a little after one. And so, right now, the guys are working to get them back up again? I got one back together. We're putting the oil back in uh, your machine right now and uh, we'll be ready to go. I should pretty much cap everything off today. The devil's tried to fight this thing for three years, but we've won the battle. Today is a historic day because the major gunite work of this major marvelous mountain will be completed today. And then we'll just do the touch-ups after that, but it's exciting. Thank you, Jeff, for being here. God bless you. Appreciate it very, very much. Well. I want to show you something. Roger Garrett, where's Roger? Come here. There's a lot of noise here. <clears throat> Roger, I don't know if you understand these uh, wave machines or not. I know I don't understand <laughs> them. Roger Garrett has taken over the, uh, the, the completion of this. We need to actually be this way, gentlemen, so we can see some of that. And uh, these are the machines let me just quickly show you. These are the machines that make the ocean wave. Right. Do you know how they right. work? There's a hydraulic cylinders up in each one of the chambers, and, and the machine will move backwards and forwards, and all the control units with the computer will operate the, the wave flaps, each one of them, and they'll go periodically to make different type waves as it moves backwards and forwards. You can make any kind of wave you want? Right, exactly. You can make the wave actually turn and curve up the pool. Twist and pull back up the pool. If, if you look at the break across the pool, it angles, so it twists everything back out towards the beach. So as the waves come across, they'll all break back out in towards the beach area. We're underwater area. here right now. We're definitely aren't we? underwater. Underwater. Yeah. You see the skimmers up on the top. That's where the water level runs. We have so many firsts in this uh, park. That window that you see in the side of the pool back over here is an underwater viewing room where you can be fully dressed, go under the in that room and look under the wave pool and watch people swimming and diving underwater, and then you can see over to the other side in the deep diving pool, and that's a room that's actually between two uh, sets of pools. Let me quickly, let's go over to the, uh, to the, what we call the deep diving pool. It is the deepest pool here. This will probably be one of the only times and last time that you'll be able to see uh, the pool from this vantage point. They're uh, uh, sandblasting here right now. We're, we're doing the final cleanup sandblasting on this, <laughs> as you can see. This here is the, uh, we're, this is the deep diving pool. And uh, viewing room is, is over here to the right, but you can uh, dive or jump cliffs depending on what the lifeguards decide uh, they're going to do. So can the camera see in there? Y'all don't need to look at me much. I, I really want to show the pool today. So I don't know where the cameras are, but 
This is the deep diving pool that you're looking into right in here. And then if you, uh, if, if you look, ah, thank you. I just started going down. If you look up there, you can see the typhoon slides and get another view of uh, those slides that uh, with waterfalls will be cascading down the mountains there. Okay, quickly, let me just run you down here into the, these are the splashdown pool area of the uh, typhoon. This is where the typhoon comes down. We're all, we're in a pool. We've been walking in the pool all this time. And these are the slides that go back in here. And this is the only typhoon slide in the world that uh, drops down into a pool. They all either just, they all usually just come on out and slow down into a trough. This you drop down and then you come into this beautiful uh, pool here. And over here, I know we're running out of time, and I want to quickly give you this tour that's not going very quick today. This here, <clears throat> on my right, I call it the family water slide because you can hold hands and slide down together here. This is uh, uh, a wide sliding rock area where you can, uh, kids, can, kids can slide down together. Usually you can't slide down together in most slides, but this one's made to slide down together. And then over here, we have, uh, we're gonna have a lily pad walk where you can walk across the water. Some of you folks that are really spiritual uh, can walk on water here, but there'll be lily pads from these steps here across, and this is a lily pad walk. Well, there's so many things. Come on, let's go back into the, into the main pool area. Are we okay? <laughs> There, Roger, there's so many things. I know we're going to miss this, lot. We missed the water spray area right. back over there. And he, all the guns that come down on the sides and it sprays water over all the, the whole park area. Yeah, and that one Mushroom area, the, the whole section, right. you just, it's like being in the rain, right? That's what it is. That exactly. area over there. And uh, we've got the one of the most fabulous kitty parks. Right. The kids have their own section Their own here, section, or to the side over here, where they're not involved with the deep water area at all. By the way, we, 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 one thing we didn't say was that uh, up above here is a restaurant and the waterfall comes down over and drops down cascades in back into the pool but there's uh, a restaurant up there where you can eat underneath the waterfall a fabulous fabulous place to eat there under the waterfall <laughs> what's that all right, we got our camera cables uh, wrapped up here. So, do uh, you want me to go back to Doug Olam? Susie Moppet, are you there? I'm here, Jim. I'm right here. Boy, I bet you can't wait for this park to open. Oh, I can't wait. And I understand that there's an alligator in that park. Would you like to see him? Boy, I'd sure like to see him. I'd like to see if he looks anything. Well, if I can get a camera over you. here, I don't know where my cameras are. If I can find a camera. I understand. He's just plain wonderful. Well, you know what, Susie? If the people that want to help uh, Kevin's house, we're sending out one of your Susie Moppet dolls. So those that give a $25 gift, we're going to send them a Susie Moppet doll so you can help build Kevin's house this week. Isn't that great? Oh, Have you found the alligator yet, Jim? What's that? Have you found the alligator yet? Yeah, I've got the, I've got the alligator, but uh, <clears throat> we got to get a camera. Oh, Where, oh. Here, uh, here's, come on, uh, can, can you see the alligator? Well, not yet, we can't, oh, man. Oh, isn't he a handsome blue? He looks just like me. Whoa, did you know? Did he? And, man, I love that big mouth. Fact, we're going to call this. <clears throat> oh man, that fish is really scandalous. It's just sitting there on the lily pond, just looking down over everything. Well, I don't see no Susie Moppets there. Well, we've got a we've got a big turtle here. Big turtle. Oh yeah, oh that is a big this turtle. Is, wow. Boy, you can the kids can sit on this and everything. Oh. And we've got some tortoises, and we've got some uh, uh, 
sea lions and all kinds of things we over here. All kinds of animals here, Jim. All kinds of animals here. Oh boy, I love, I love animals. And then we've got, we've got this. This is a special water park over here, just for boys and girls. And. Uh, boy, I can't wait to get the swimming suit on. We've got a water slide just for the kids, and oh of their own. And we've got water cannons and caves and all kinds of pools and uh, waterfalls and splash pools over here. And I wish I had more time to take you through it, Susie, but I don't have time today. But it is going to be one of the most exciting places for boys and girls ever. Oh, Jim, it's absolutely wonderful. I can hardly wait to get my bathing suit on. And, Ellie, are you going to put your bathing suit on, too? Well, I don't wear a bathing suit, Susie. Ellie, you don't wear a bathing suit. Well, well, well Susie, no. Don't tell her why I wouldn't wear a bathing suit. I'm an alligator. Well, Allie, I... <laughs> this is the scariest thing I have ever done in my life. Do you realize how smart that dummy is? <laughs> Who are you calling the dummy, boy? I suppose I'd rather call you a dummy than Sue's because she'd nailed me to the wall. We're not dummies. No, I, I, I agree. You're not dummies and you scare me to death. You really oh, do. I was because... trying to explain to Sue's Doug, why, uh, why alligators don't wear bathing suits. I mean, I... I couldn't, I wouldn't have a bathing suit big enough to get over my long tail. You know, uh, we're animals, so you, you've got to understand that. Well, I guess why well, you wouldn't look kind of dumb in a bathing suit with your legs just sticking out. Allie? Yo, yeah, Jim. Allie? Yeah, I'm here. How would you like it since that you're, you're uh, laying there on this big rock? How would you like it if we named, named the, the, uh, the kitty playground the alley alligator playground. Oh, Jim, I would just be so pleased. I'd be so proud. Oh, my, you're going to break tears to my eyes, and my hands aren't long enough oh. to wipe them away. All right, the, we'll name that part over there where the kids' water slide and their water cannon spots and all their places. It'll be known as Alley the Alligator. Oh, God bless part. you, Brother Jim. God bless you. That's <laughs> wonderful. <coughs> Will you dress up for the dedication, Allie? Oh, will I dress? I will dress up for the dedication fit to kill, Doug. Well, if you can dress up for the dedication, why can't you wear a swimming anybody, suit? But I just think it'll be... What did what, 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 you say? Well, if you're going to dress up for the dedication, you could surely wear a swimming suit to be modest. Well, Doug, uh, uh, you don't understand. Alligators have a natural swimming suit. You mean that green scaly yeah, thing yeah, is there yeah, all it, the it's, time? It's sort of a natural thing. And where we don't have a natural swimming suit, well, we got a natural swimming suit, but we don't dare wear it. Well, I'm trying... It's called our all together. <laughs> all now right, you guys, that's enough of... I'm trying to take people on a tour. What are you talking about? Well, you got us out here, Jim. Boy, I'm getting... And we haven't been here in a long time. We've been cooped up in a dumb old box for too long. Well, I want you to see the, the tube ride that goes down the mountain. Oh, I, we'd it... love to see it, Jim. Being you named that park after me? Oh, just show us everything. <laughs> Well, can you see, uh, these, this is the, one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, inner tube ride that goes all the way down the mountain. It has 12 ponds. You'll be coming down the mountain when It has 12 he ponds comes. that you drop down into You'll on your inner tube. You'll be coming down the mountain when he comes. And, and, uh, He'll be coming down the mountain. He'll be fighting down the mountain. He'll be fighting down the mountain when he comes. Da -da -da -da. See if I ever ask you on the program again. Well, Jim, I thought the song fit in good. Well, uh, can you see over there, you can see what we call the serpentine oh, slide. Oh, can you see? We have two big serpentine slides that circle down the mountain on the other side. Oh, boy. This is great exercise climbing this mountain, great I'll tell you that. Exercise. Boy, it looks fabulous. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait, Jim. Boy, I can hardly wait either, Jim. I'm just going to get on that slide and go for it. Well, we're going to plant the final trees in, the, in this week on the mountain, and we're putting the coating in the pools, and then we're going to be opening the park in just a couple weeks now. Isn't that going to be exciting? Yeah, that's going to be the best thing in the whole world for moms and dads and boys and girls. The grandmas and grandpas are going to have to be a little bit more careful because we don't want them to break any major Somebody. <laughs> I'm up at the very top of the mountain right now of Heritage Island. I'd shut this thing off if I could figure out how to do it.
But, uh... <laughs> what, <laughs> what is it, Jim? What is oh, it? Oh, all these machines. That's I'm impressive. up on top of the mountain. This is where the slides began. This is the serpent. Would you hold, Susie? She keeps singing. Oh, Jim, be careful with me. <laughs> you were singing. Every time I hug you, you sing another song. Well? And I, it's hard to talk when I hear you talking back at me. These are the beginning of the water slides up here. Can you see them? Yep. And that's circles all the way down the mountain. Looks kind of scary to me, Jim. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then we have waterfalls that go all the way down. And this is where you start the tube ride. And you come right in here with your inner tube, and the waterfall's coming down, and then you go all the way down the mountain. A beautiful ride. Is that ride. the pool that they're sleeping out right now? Yes, he's in a pool. Oh, boy, look, look, look. Oh, that looks scary, Jim. We, uh, we want to thank all the workers that have worked on this park, that have helped us build it. I'm going way up to the top. I've on the water here. park <laughs> all <laughs> the live long day. This is, this is the beginning of the typhoon here, and uh, this is where it, you uh, almost drop totally straight down the mountainside. They're rising up so early in the morn, can't you see the adults sliding? Brother, blow your horn. Can you peek over that edge right there? That's that's a very acid. Stand right up. I want you to look down over the cliff of the mountain here, Suze. Look over the edge. Oh, boy, the water's turned on. Wow, wow, wow. What's that, Jim, the Roaring Rapids? Well, that's the, that's the waterfall on one side of the mountain from the top here. And then over there is the new Goody Barn. Tammy Faye will like that. Yeah, boy, she'd be happy if she were here. That's about, I don't know, about 30,000 square feet of shopping bliss. Oh, over there, well, behind I'll the mountain. I'll just say hallelujah for her. <laughs> and all the proceeds of that will go to Fort Hope to operate it in the years to come. Isn't that exciting? Well, that is so wonderful, Jim. I, I want to... It's beautiful, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh, beautiful for spacious skies. Well... For amber waves of great. I just feel patriotic looking at well, it, Jim. You know, it's marvelous. We, a tear is if anyone would like down to have, my face. Al, if anybody wants through. to have a Silver Club membership, this is, we're starting our final call, and there'll never be Silver Clubs again. This is something that was just special for, in honor of our Silver Anniversary. Oh, where, oh, where did the for Silver Club For a $1,000 gift. Oh, where, oh, where can it be? And they get to come and use this park free and their family all the rest of their life. Can you believe this? And uh, we want to thank Harkins Calls, the architects who have designed this park with us, and Davis Steele that's been working with us, and Universal Electric, and Southern Tree Company that's putting all the trees in, and Doolin Heating and Air Conditioning, and the EIW Equipment Company. Wait, took a the people. And Pacific Pools that is doing all of this work. One of the greatest pool companies in the world, and Jim Barger and his gang that have been here, they are the most fantastic group that I've ever worked with in my life have been making rocks and mountains and pools and making all of this work. Underground, there's literally miles of wires and cables and pipes and tubing. If you'd ever see back and behind just the filtration of this place, it looks like uh, a giant city back and behind here. So this is the finest water park in the world that's just about to open, and it's God's park for God's people, for the family of God to use, and we're just so excited about it. I wanted to find the lady from the uh, coating company. Did, did she ever, did we ever find her? She's on, the, she's here somewhere. They start their work today. We have, uh, there's only one company that has ever been recommended to me to finish out our pools. And uh, Ray Sibley owns the Calco company, coating company. And it's even a secret recipe they have to, to put the coating on. It's supposed oh, to be the best. Secret recipe. No, it's not for food. It's for a coating oh. that will hold fast to these pool bottoms and make it just absolutely and beautiful. And coat, too. And so she's starting her work today, and in a few days she will be completed with her work, and then we begin to put water in the pool. Yay, 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 and yay, yay. Susie, you and Allie can come and swim at your heart's delight. Oh, uh, we will, because we own a silver membership, so we'll get to do it. Free well, for the rest of our lives, Susie. Free for the rest of your life, and, uh... You think they'll get scared if they see an alligator floating around that pool, Jim? 
I don't, I don't think so. I don't think they so. They know I'm a friendly one. Yeah. And, and the wonderful thing is that, that you not only get free water park for that $1,000 silver club. You get free club. drinks if you fall in. No. You get <laughs> free passion right play down. tickets the rest of your life. You get to come to a free workshop, yeah. $300 workshop, every year the rest of your life. Free horseback riding. And then when the... Wonderful And things. free bowling when the bowling center's open and lap pools and, and uh, the exercise rooms and the racquetball, did I say that? And all those uh, roller skating, tennis court for a silver club member. Together, we are building something that couldn't be done. Together, we're making it happen. Here the at music Heritage started, The music is starting, Jim. It's time to go. Okay. And if you want a Susie Moppet and you want to give a $25 gift for the wonderful Kevin's house that we're going to build faster than we've ever built, send that $25 gift and today. we'll send to Susie. Do it today. I yeah. want to come home with you. And she talks. Right now. And sings and, and does all kinds of things if you hug her. And she's been singing all day long. Now when I want her to sing, sing, Susie. Jesus takes the frown and turns it upside down. And oops, the come smile. <laughs> I don't know what we did today. But uh, I hope I've given you a little glimpse of what's coming here at Heritage Island. Uh, God loves you. He really, he really does. Bye-bye. Guests of the Jim Baker Program stay at the beautiful Heritage Grand Partner Center. To make your reservations, call 1-704-544-8100. Eastern Airlines is offering discounts up to 50% off for anyone traveling to Heritage USA.